Hello everyone, in uh, today's tutorial I will show you how to create this uh, flower for portrait effects that you can see in here using Adobe Photoshop. And as you can see these are other examples I created using the same steps that you will be using for this tutorial. Alright fantastic, so let's get to it. Alright, so let's go ahead and open Photoshop and I will take the image I will be using and open it right here. Alright, now we'll go to the crop tool and I will crop this image so we'll be focusing just on the face, we'll be creating the effect. Alright, so I will one click on this check mark to commit the change. Alright, now I'm gonna double click on this background so I will unlock it and I will name it model and hope it's okay. Now I'm gonna press Ctrl J so I can make a copy of the model and I will leave uh, this one as a backup in case I want to go back and use it later. Alright, now I will go to the pen tool in here and in the pen tool make sure that uh, you're selecting a path not shape. Alright, and I'm gonna start making uh, the shape that we'll be using to cut uh, the half of the face from. Alright. So I will one click and drag so I can make this handle in here and then I'm gonna make another point in here so I can click and drag like so and as you can see now we have two points in here and if I press uh, control I can take the points in here and make it wherever I want and also if I press alt I can modify uh, this handle uh, alone and the same for the other one in here if i press ctrl i can move the point wherever i want it and i will just make it over here and then i'm gonna press alt and i will modify the, the handle in here just right here so this is like uh, the basic on how to to work with the, the pencil in here so i'm gonna create a shape uh, like that so i can cut the half of uh, the face in here all right so something like that now i will uh, right click and choose make selection and i'm gonna keep uh, the feather radius uh, set to zero pixels in here and i will press ok now as you can see this will load it to uh, a selection now I'm gonna press Ctrl X so I can cut this part of uh, the face and then I'm gonna press Ctrl Shift V and as you can see this will paste it in a new layer on top in here and I will call this face shape in here all right now I'm gonna press Ctrl T and I will move it a little bit down you can move it wherever you want I'm just gonna make it just around here all right and I'll press enter all right next I'm gonna press control and I'm gonna one click on this model copy in here and as you can see this will load the selection of the whole layer in here uh, with the, the this part that we just cut it but we need to invert it so we can only have this part uh, is selected so I'm gonna press Control shift I and as you can see this will invert uh, uh, the selection now I'm gonna create a, a new layer on top of uh, the model copy in here and I will call it edges and then I will fill it with whatever color I want so I'm gonna press alt backspace and as you can see this will fill it with black and I will make the fill of this uh, layer to 0% Alright, now I will go to adjustment and I will choose solid color and I'm gonna choose uh, this color right here and I will take it and put it under the model copy in here and as you can see this will uh, create this uh, color inside the face so we can always go back and double click on this solid color you know sample a color from the skin in here and make it darker just like that all right and the is okay now I'm gonna zoom a little bit so I can see 
and then I will go to the edges layer in here and I will double click on it and as you can see the layer style dialog will open and uh, I'm gonna go to the drop shadow and I will uh, make uh, the opacity to 100% and then I will uh, make the size to 0 and the spread to 100% and then I'm gonna, with my cursor, I'm gonna take it and you know, place the shadow so we can make this kind of uh, 3D edge of uh, the face in here. And I will make the size a little bit more so we can create this effect. I will make the size around 6 pixels or 7. I think, I think 7 it looks good all right and I will change the color to me sample color in here and I will make it a little bit darker maybe a little bit red all right I think this looks good and it will be okay now I will go to the noise in here and I will make it around 15 or 10% as you can see this will create this kind of texture which looks uh, really cool all right so that's it for this uh, uh, part of the face so I'm gonna press ok now I will go to the face shape in here and I will double click on it again so I can open the layer side dialog and then I will go to the drop shadow again and this time I'm gonna choose a black color and I will put the spread to 0% and the noise to 0% and I will put down the opacity around 50% and I will place the shadow let me put the size around 40 and of course this depends on uh, your image you'll be using you might need to experiment with this uh, values that I will uh, be using in here so just try to get a similar result or a result that you will like all right I think this will look good now I will go to inner glow and I will keep uh, the blending mode to screen and the opacity let me just see what it will look like let's make it 25 and the size will make it 10% or 12 let me put down the opacity a little bit more maybe around 20% alright and I hope it's ok and as you can see we get this really cool uh, effect in here I don't like uh, the shadow of this parts in here so I will go back to drop shadow in here and I will put it down a little bit maybe put down the opacity all right I think this looks better and I hope it's okay all right now it's time to go and put the flower inside the face in here so I will go and open uh, the flower file in here you'll find all this flower in the link from the description below so just download them all right so we will go and choose a bunch of these flowers in here so we will go with this one first so I will take it and open it in here and I will make it a little bit smaller just around here let me see all right so the idea is to make the flower this flower look uh, like it's coming from the inside of the face so what I'm gonna do is I will take it and put it under the face shape in here and as you can see this will make it look like it's coming from the inside but I'm gonna hide this part of uh, the leaf in here and I will maybe move it a little bit to the top just a bit all right and then I'm gonna uh, select the flower file let me name it flower 1 
and I'm gonna apply a layer mask to it so I would go and one click on this layer mask icon and then I'm gonna load uh, the selection of uh, the edges layer in here so I will press control and one click on this edges layer and as you can see now we have a selection of only with these edges in here and I will invert it so we can delete from the outside of the selection so I'm gonna press control shift I and then I will go and take a brush a regular brush and I will make sure that the opacity is set to 100% and the color is black and I'm gonna start deleting just like this and I'm gonna press control D to deselect and as you can see now we have this uh, flower looks like it's coming from the inside of uh, the face I think I want to make this part of the leaf uh, visible uh, in here so I will uh, make a copy of this flower one so I'm gonna press ctrl J and then I'm gonna take it and put it on top of the face shape in here and I'm gonna select the layer mask and then I will fill it with black by pressing alt backspace and as you can see now we have a black layer mask and then what I'm gonna do I will uh, with using a brush and a white color I'm gonna start revealing this part as easy as that all right here we go we have a really cool effect in here now we'll go back to the flower folder in here and I will choose another one let me go with this with this one in here so I will take it and open it in here and again I will make it smaller and I will press enter and then I'm gonna take it and put it uh, under this face shape layer in here and I'm gonna press ctrl T again so I can rotate it and make it smaller Let me see I think I'm gonna right click and choose flip horizontal to see yeah I think this will looks better all right I think this looks good and I will one click on this check mark to commit the change as you can see we have this really cool effect in here and I think I want to hide this part of the leaf in here so just we can create that illusion that it's uh, hiding inside the face so I will apply a layer mask again by one click on this layer mask icon and then I will take a brush and again I'm gonna switch the color to black and I will just delete this part in here and we can always go and load the selection of the edges layer in here and as you can see now we have a selection now I can bring back this part in here and then I will invert the selection by pressing ctrl shift I and I can delete this part just like that and I will press ctrl D to deselect and there we go we have this really cool illusion of uh, the flower coming from the inside of the face and I think I'm gonna add one more flowers to this so I will go to the flower folder in here and I think I think I will go with this one in here and I will make it smaller again let me see all right I think this looks good as you can see now and as you can see now we have a little bit of a problem as you can see now we have this kind of leaf going uh, with this flower that we put first in here so I'm gonna apply a layer mask to this flower file in here and I'm gonna delete this part in here so we can get rid of this problem all right I think this looks good and there we go we're almost done as you can see we have these really cool flowers coming from the inside of the face let me just go and delete this part in here I think it's from this one yeah I think from this one so I'm gonna 
take a brush and delete this part really quickly and there we go we have this really cool effect all right now we can add a similar effect like this let's say in the hand or wherever we want but i'm just gonna stick with the face in here for the sake of the tutorial but if you want to add more uh, like like this you can you can do that all right and it doesn't doesn't need to be just flower you can use whatever i mean you can use smoke you can use uh, a galaxy stars i already made uh, a picture where uh, i use stars and as you can see it's really basic and it's easy to do so uh, the last thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna uh, apply some adjustments so i would go and choose levels and i will darken a little bit Let's give it that kind of contrast not that much and I will go to the red and I will add a little bit of the red to give it that artistic look and I will go to the blue All right, now we'll go to adjustments again, and this time I'm gonna choose vibrance, and I will crank the vibrance a little bit. Let me put it around 75 or 70. As you can see, this will make the colors to pop up more. As you can see, if you can, if you see the flowers in here, they look really cool. And uh, the last thing I'm gonna add is an exposure so I will go and choose exposure and I will increase the offsets a little bit just a bit not that much and the gamma correction just a little bit and I think I'm gonna go to the vibrance in here and I will bring down the opacity a little bit around 70% all right and there we go we have this really cool portrait effect that you, you can make in really no time at all all right so I hope that you will try this effect with different images and don't forget to show me out on Instagram to see what you've done I love all the work and don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorials to come and have a nice day thank you for watching